We're here in Bellingham, Washington, where an activist has climbed to the top of this tripod, which has been set up in the tracks of a coal train. We have a coal train stopped just to the south of us. That's got about a hundred cars of coal uh, from uh, the Powder River Basin that are going to be exported and, uh, and burned. And we're here to stop it. So uh, the activist up there has a sign that says, fight for what you love. And it's got a picture of the salmon on it. And what we have right here is coal trains passing through this community all the time. Multiple trains every day, 100 cars, 150 cars on a train. Uh, open top cars spewing coal dust, spewing emissions that are going to be burned across the world and are going to heat up this climate. So we went into action and uh, we've got our person up there. He's, he's in place. He's not going to move until he's forced to move, until they take him down. And uh, we need to do this. We need to fight. We need to do whatever is necessary. Hi, I'm Erin. And I'm Jules. And we're from Deep Green Resistance. To stop climate change, the fossil fuel economy must be disrupted. Deep Green Resistance Oregon is offering a training on nonviolent direct action and support skills over Earth Day weekend, April 21st through 23rd in Eugene, Oregon. I participated in last year's direct action training to learn new skills and strategies necessary to halt this culture's destruction of the planet. This year, I'm helping to organize the training and we're looking forward to seeing new participants from the West Coast and beyond. We've been protesting since the first Earth Day, and things are just getting worse. They're not getting any better. So if you're tired of your petitions and your protests being ignored, and you'd like to do more effective actions, then donate to Deep Green Resistance, or join us for our training in Eugene. Thanks for listening.